Some warm water. A little bit of gallium in the bottom. So, the only metal that melts at the temperature of skin. So I've been uh, growing some gallium crystals for magnetic experimentation. So this is the remaining pure gallium geode that I have. So, how fast can... That's my coffee pot. <laughs> What's making that noise? My coffee pot! Coffee! Uh, coffee! Uh, how fast can you dissolve a pure gallium geode in just warm water? Not even hot, just warm. So, how many dunks does it take? Like, how many licks does it take, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Swirl it around the hot water a little bit. Not hot, warm water. Okay. Let's see. Just wave it around. How fast will it dissolve into a liquid? Okay. Let's zoom in a little better. There we go. Okay. Focus! Focus! There we go. Focus. Yep. So what about 55 seconds? Whoops. One last piece. Let's leave a little stain on your... There we go. So now we could just... Now you're saying, well, how do I separate out the water from the gallium? And that's actually really easy to do. After you pour off most of the water, you would pour the... most of the water, I said. You pour the remaining bit into a little jar and you stick a paper towel in top. And you swish it around, it'll soak up all the water and all the gallium will be left in the bottom. There you go. It's like panning for gold. You know this stuff per ounce is basically the same price as silver. Well, actually right now, per ounce, this is more expensive than silver. So it's really not that far from <laughs> panning for gold. There you go. That's how you do gallium remelting and extraction. Pour off the water. Stick a paper towel in, swish it around. It'll suck up all the water and all the gallium will be left behind. Yes, indeedy. There you go. You learned something today. Information you'll never use. Ta-da! <laughs>